Hey guys, so this one asks us to find the total distance traveled. Okay, this is only a higher tier thing. Foundation tier don't know this. Foundation tier means maybe you're capped at a certain grade. So higher tier needs to know this, combined and triple. So I want to find the distance traveled between zero and 10 seconds. So the first thing I do is I look at my time. So sorry, I should have wrote time in seconds here. And from where zero to 10 seconds is, there's 10 seconds. So what I can see is here, my velocity is increasing, 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 so accelerating. Then my velocity stays the same, traveling at constant speed. And then my velocity decreases, so sort of deaccelerating. Okay, but I only want the distance traveled between zero and 10. Now you need to remember, how do we find the distance traveled in a velocity time graph? Now remember that is you need to calculate the area under the graph. So we need to find the area under this graph. Now you can either be really good at maths and you think, I know how to find the area of a trapezium, or like me, just make your life easy. So we split up into a triangle and a rectangle. So I know to find the area of a triangle, and you need this for physics, the area of a triangle is a half of the base times the height. So I want to find the area of my triangle, which is a half of my base times my height. So a half of my base is from zero to four. So a half times four times the height, which goes from zero up to six. So times by six. So a half of four is two times by six gives me 12. So that's the area of this triangle is 12. Now here I've got a rectangle. To find the area of a rectangle, we do the base times the height. So the base, now it starts at four and it ends at 10. Now the base isn't 10. If it starts at four and it ends at 10, the base there is going to be six and the height is six. So what I'm gonna do then is the base times the height is gonna be my six times my six to give me 36 meters. So the area here is 36. Now to find the total area, we just need to add them together. So I'm gonna do is 12 plus 36, 36, 46, 48 meters. Because distance is always measured in meters.